know I'm going to get a lot of questions about our new table and new chairs. Um, we made the table, so I will make sure that I link the DIY below for you guys because we do have it over on our M&M Rustics channel. Um, and then the chairs I got from Target, you guys, they're actually patio chairs from Target and we're waiting for the cushions to come in, hence why we're like sitting on pillows from the couch. But um, the cushions are coming in and I've got some pillows coming in as well, but I will have those linked down below. They are on sale this week for like $63 each, so hop on it because I don't think there's a whole ton left and they are like such good quality. Such good quality. I love them. They're like, they're solid. And my theory is since they are meant for like the patio, um, I think that they're going to hold up to the kids a lot better too. So it's like a plasticky wicker type material so it's super super strong um and it's not like the real wood wicker so that it like cracks you know you guys know what i'm talking about because with the other um like wood wicker the wicker can like bend and snap anyways highly highly recommend these chairs we also have a bench being made for this side so stay tuned because this entire area it's been such a makeover again these chairs will be linked down below in the description box for you guys from target so the goal actually is to have this come down to like right about here um and i'm tr i'm trying to decide if i'm going to keep this bucket light or what i'm going to do i do like the bucket light i just feel like the space maybe needs something rectangular i don't know but and then later on today um, I will be recording a DIY for um, painting these wood blinds because these are just like a little too red. Um, so I think I'm going to paint these black today. Um, and then I've got a couple of chalkboards that I'm making too. So make sure you stay tuned over on the m, &M Rustics channel for those DIYs. Um, I will be doing some kid DIYs with you guys here on my channel this week. There was one more thing I wanted to mention. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting. Um, over in this corner, as soon as we are out of um, isolation, quarantine, whatever you wanna call it, um, as soon as we're done with this craziness, I wanna get um, a big plant to go in this corner. I've got a chalkboard going on this wall, in this wall, like I mentioned, but I wanna get a big plant in this corner, a big real plant. I've got one down in the entryway, and I wanna get one for this corner too. All right, you guys, I am totally bumming it today. I figured I'd give myself a break from any makeup. I just put like a really good, actually put like a hydration mask on or it's like a leave on like hydration, like lotion, mask, whatever. It's like meant for overnight, but I, I just thought it would be really good for my skin this morning. So um, I showered before the kids got up this morning, um, came downstairs and then I showed you guys our little routine. I've got a naked baby running all over the place under this new table. You okay? Since it's 10.30, I'm gonna pause really quick because Riker's actually ready for his nap. He takes one long nap every single day um, from like 10.30 to about 1.30. Um, so I'm gonna go and <laughs> put him in his room. Yeah, mm, stinky boy. Um, I'm gonna bring him up to his room, change his bum real quick, give him a baba, and let him take his um, nap pretty much for the day. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, first things first with Kaya's. Um, like homeschooling routine and schedule is I am going to Oh, this is my squeaky marker. What? This is squeaky what? Is it? Oh, don't, yeah, don't hit it too hard or don't push too hard. Um, okay, so what I am trying to do here is create a sticker chart for her. I'm trying to, to decide how I want to do this. Um, I Thing, what we're going to do is make it like a booklet um, and we're going to hang it on the fridge. No, don't hang it on the fridge. Hang it on my door. On exactly. your door? Okay. All right. So I'm going to make it this way so that it's not quite as big.
Okay, so I wanted to add another thing um, onto this video before I wrap it up for you guys. Um, don't mind me, I am sick. I checked my temperature um, and it was at like 100. So it's not like quite a fever, but it's like low grade. Um, and I've been like, like my chest doesn't hurt, but I've been like super congested, like my nose is super congested. So that's why I sound like this. Um, but I wanted just to show you guys really quickly what I got for Kaya's um, school stuff um, and what we plan um, to do with it. I had to open the book. Nope, we're not going to open that. No, no, it's not a book. These are just sheets of paper. All right, you guys. So I got um, just a few things in. I got these like foam pieces like for arts and crafts. Um, we're going to be doing something in the window for um, like the heart window, whatever, for all the... Uh, we're going to be doing like the heart window project that everybody's been doing in light of the COVID-19 um, virus. So we're going to be doing that uh, with this. And then I also have construction paper. So that's going to be an art project here in the next couple of days um, is doing these hearts um, along with this. Um, I did get Kaya um, this Grow and Glow terrarium as well. Um, we're going to be doing like math and science on rotating days. And each week I want to get Kaya like a fun science, science project. So this week our science project is this Grow and Grow, Glow terrarium. I thought about doing like the sea monkeys too for a cool science project. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I also got <laughs> Chicka Chicka Boom Boom for a reading project um, this upcoming week. And then we've got some stickers. These are just mini stickers. Now, um, this is going to go hand in hand with Kaya's chart. And I will have all of this linked down below for you guys. All of it was super cheap. I want to say this was like $5. Um, this construction paper was like $1.88 on Amazon. These were like $5. I want to say this was like $12. And this was like $5. So not very much money. Um, and it will keep Kaya busy for while I'm working from home, but also keep her on a good schedule. Um, also her um, daycare provider sent her home with a bunch of um, paperwork and projects and things like that to do. So, but these stickers, I'm gonna show you guys quick here. So those stickers are actually for this and I need to take these stickers off because Kaya's been putting them on without me noticing for some of these days. Anyway, this is Kaya's chart and she gets one sticker for um, doing her schoolwork, one sticker for doing her chores, which guys, like I don't have her do anything crazy, she's only four. But as long as she like picks up her toys and things like that, and then also she gets a sticker for behavior. Now if she gets all three stickers in one day, then she can have a dessert after supper. Um, and then we do this just for like the weekdays, right? So just to keep her on like a general schedule, something similar to what she would be doing over at daycare. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I need to take the rest of these stickers off because she did not actually earn these. Yeah. And probably put these on when I wasn't looking. All right. Okay, guys, I am going to wrap it up there for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little homeschooling idea routine. I've got lots of DIYs coming up for you. I have been MIA. I was actually hoping to get this video up on like Tuesday or Wednesday this week, but um, I got sick, so as you guys can hear, I am sick right now. I have no idea, don't even ask me if it's COVID. I wouldn't be able to know because um, they're not testing people, but I haven't had a fever. Um, it's just been like a sore throat, and then I've been really super congested, as you guys can probably hear. So, and then Riker scratched me this morning, so that's what that is, but anyways, you guys. Okay, stay tuned for lots of really fun DIYs. Mike and I are doing lots of DIYs this weekend. Now that we have been ordered for the um, shelter in place here in Minnesota, um, so Mike's like running out and grabbing um, some materials from Menards tonight. So we've already stocked up on all of our materials from Menards um, a couple of weeks ago, thank goodness, um, so that we're able to do a, bun a bunch of these DIYs. Um, and then I did order some wallpaper for um, 
have some projects coming up upstairs too. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go help Kaya set up her terrarium and you guys will see that in tomorrow's video. Okay, bye guys.